Here we go. Are you ready for a pattern change? We are transitioning from warm and dry to wet and cold. Yeah, Nicole's moisture spreading our way overnight into our Veterans Day Friday. Widespread beneficial soaking rains drive carefully get out the rain gear. Front moves through later Friday afternoon. The rain will come to an end Friday night. Another weak system, some light rain Saturday morning, maybe a sleep pellet. There's a slight chance, believe it or not, for a light wintry mix in parts of the Tennessee Valley Saturday morning early. That moves out by afternoon. Coldest air of the season arrives as we get into this weekend. So that's the wet tonight and tomorrow to colder by Saturday and Sunday. Nicole will continue to track basically up from uh, the Big Bend region tonight through Georgia and the Carolinas. Heaviest rains in western North Carolina, three to six inches plus. Here in East Tennessee, we could see one to two inches in general. The highest amounts as far as East Tennessee, two to three inches possible here in the mountains. The lowest amounts, Upper East Tennessee, were only maybe a half inch to three quarters of an inch, the shade of green. Parts of Upper East Tennessee due to downsloping winds. But everywhere else, in general, a one to two inch rainfall amount and range is expected. Uh, specifically here in the Central Valley, again, generally in around Knoxville, one to one and a half inches of rain appears likely. But just west of the uh, Knoxville toward the Western Valley and the Plateau, uh, 1.75 to over two inches of rain. Matter of fact, the purple colors are two inches, maybe higher, maybe two and a half northern part of the Plateau, similar to the mountains. So mountains and Plateau, highest rainfall amounts, but an inch, inch and a half, maybe a little bit more in parts of the valley, lighter amounts upper East Tennessee. Wind advisory will be in place uh, for tonight through 1 p.m. Friday with winds in the mountains gusting 40 to 60 miles per hour. So potential impacts from the rain and wind, especially for the mountains where those gusts again uh, could be up to 60 in the highest peaks from flooding possible mountains, moderate to heavy rainfall widespread uh, tonight and into the day on Friday. Here's your Veterans Day forecast again often on showers likely keep the umbrella handy drive carefully. The parade does have again the rain in the forecast, so certainly use caution. So our timeline so shows the showers increasing later tonight overnight into the day for our Veterans Day Friday. Again, not as much rain in Upper East Tennessee until the afternoon. Heaviest rains during the day plateau into the valley and mountains and that will all sweep out by later in the afternoon and evening will start to dry out. I mentioned that weak system on Saturday. Yeah, this is uh, between 8 and 10 a.m. Some light rains developing, maybe a sleep pellet mixed in, kind of chilly, should be moving out and improving by afternoon, including for the Vols ball game. We hit 73 for the high today after a low of 41. But now we're talking about going from well above average to well below. Here's the recap. There's the rain that's increasing from Nicole tonight and during the day tomorrow. Moving out Friday night. There's that. Look at that little winter mix in Nashville. Maybe on the plateau, a little brief sleep pellet. Some light rain Saturday morning. Kickoff noon for the Vols should be moving out as we get into the afternoon. So forecast tonight. Showers likely cloudy and mild. Only near 60 the last mild night for a while. 66 tomorrow, breezy and wet with those showers likely windy in the mountains. Our winds will kick up in the afternoon as the rains decrease. And then Saturday, chilly, little wet early and cold sun in the 40s. We stay chilly to cold for much of next week.